This universe is an impressive feat. From the natural wonders here on Earth to each galaxy as far as we can see, there is so much around us to research and take in. The strange occurrences, from droughts and climate catastrophes to unexplained astronomical events, are plentiful. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three relatively recent discoveries. Victoria Falls dries up due to a drought in Africa Victoria Falls is a stunning waterfall that lies on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe in Africa. The waterfall sits on the Zambezi River and has earned the title of one of the world's largest waterfalls, spanning a staggering 1,708 meters in width. A stunning natural beauty of this size is one of Southern Africa's largest tourist attractions, though a particularly harsh dry season in 2019 has left people worried about the impacts of climate change on Victoria Falls. 2019 saw the worst drought in 100 years as it swept through Africa, slowing down the cascading waterfall to a small trickle, dripping its way down. Now it is expected that the hot weather that comes with dry seasons slows down the water in Victoria Falls, though the tourist attraction has never suffered quite this greatly. Officials commented that the 2019 decline in water levels was much more extreme than anticipated. Now, many are quickly turning to blame climate change for the drastic turn in the water levels. Dominic Nyambi, a man who sells his craft work in a shop in Livingstone on the side of the border lying in Zambia, commented that in previous years when it gets dry, it's not to this extent. This is our first experience of seeing it like this. He continued to explain that he and other sellers by Victoria Falls are dealing with the consequences of the drought firsthand. With fewer tourists making their way to the waterfall, there are fewer customers for Nyambi and other shopkeepers to sell their products to. It is only in recent years that the climate crisis is being taken more seriously, with some doubting whether real action being taken even today. World leaders have sat, met and discussed plans and possible solutions in plenty of climate change conferences, though many fear that these steps are simply too little too late, with some places already feeling the effects of this disaster. In the south of Africa, the damage we as humans have had on the planet is already being felt. Taps are running dry and crop failures have left an estimated 45 million people in dire need of food. A turn towards sustainable energy is necessary though the reliance on hydropower for Zimbabwe and Zambia has proved to be somewhat dangerous. The countries have faced power cuts following the drought, since the Zambezi River, on which the Victoria Falls lies, has been left dry. Some areas of Victoria Falls have been left bone dry, leaving only stone behind, while other stretches of the waterfall have a low water supply, a steady trickle incapable of fascinating tourists or fueling the hydropower plants at the Kariba Dam. Data collected from the Zambezi River Authority has shown that this is the lowest water flow since 1995, which places the 2019 statistics significantly under the long-term average. Zambian president, up until August 2021, Edgar Lungu, commented that this drought serves as a stark reminder of what climate change is doing to our environment. It is undeniable that climate change is an ever-present, looming threat some scientists are hesitant to blame climate change singularly for the impact of the 2019 dry season on Victoria Falls. A hydrologist at the engineering firm Pori and an expert on the Zambezi River, Harold Kling, explained that climate change is considered over a decade, not a year. We always see seasonal variations and one year is likely to be worse than the one prior at some point, but looking over a decade we can see the long-term patterns and trends at hand. Kling said, It's sometimes difficult to say this because of climate change, because droughts have always occurred. If they become more frequent, then you can start saying, OK, this may be climate change. Kling continued to explain that climate models had predicted dry years much more often in the Zambezi Basin, but that the droughts themselves are already somewhat frequent with the last one before 2019 being just three years prior. Furthermore, some have suggested that the excessive heat, possibly linked to climate change, that was causing the droughts was also delaying the monsoon. 
This means that there are no large rain events, and there is less of a steady income of rain, so the dry season feels much harsher and much longer. All of these factors combine to leave the Victoria Falls struggling from a lack of water, from a lack of tourists, and from the uncertainty that lies ahead. Climate change is a very real crisis and a battle we need to take more seriously, whether it is the sole factor behind this drought or one of many bigger reasons at hand. Young Galaxy surprises scientists with its impressive bulge. Scientists are on a mission to find what else is out there. Space is vast and limitless, so that question does not exactly have an easy answer. In 2020, however, one particularly exciting discovery was made. Astronomers discovered a young galaxy that seemed similar to the Milky Way. The new galaxy, given the catchy name SPT041847, has been likened in characteristics to our own galaxy here on Earth. However, this newly found galaxy is a great distance away from us, meaning the time it takes for the light to travel to Earth is so long that when we look through our telescopes at it, we see how it looked 12 billion years ago, making it 1.4 billion years old. Whilst 1.4 billion is still a relatively large number, in the context of how old galaxies, planets and other celestial objects may be, this is a very young galaxy. Some observations of SPT 041847 showed what we would have anticipated seeing in early galaxies, though some observations were a little more unexpected. Stars formed at a rapid pace in this galaxy, though when the universe was so young, there was lots of gas available. Something more surprising is that despite the seemingly sporadic activity, this young galaxy had a rotating disk and what is being described as a galactic bulge in its middle. This structure was surprising to experts, but not unfamiliar. This is the same structure our galaxy, the Milky Way, has today. The similarities between SPT 041847 and the Milky Way are limited and may not be permanent. Our Milky Way has what is referred to as a barrel spiral shape, made out of lengths of stars and gas, described as arms. This arm shape is not visible in SPT 041847 at all. Some scientists think this galaxy could evolve into a different type of galaxy completely and become elliptical. Being able to observe as this galaxy evolves and changes means we will be able to predict what will happen to others and possibly find out how the Milky Way evolved. Lead author of the study, Francesca Rizzo, a PhD student from Germany's Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics, said, The structures that we observe in nearby spiral galaxies and in our Milky Way were already in place 12 billion years ago. This means that there could be less changes taking place over time than what we first thought. Scientists first spotted the galaxy using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. ALMA is comprised of 66 antennas throughout the Chilean desert, which, when combined, creates one telescopic lens. A technique called gravitational lensing was used to conduct these observations, where the light of a neighbouring galaxy was used to magnify the light of SPT 041847. Discovering more about how our universe formed is an ongoing task, though with each new observation we find more and more about the origin of our galaxy through those just like us. Supermassive black hole traps six galaxies in a spider's web. Observations from 2020 research has revealed that in the early stages of the universe, six galaxies were trapped in an orbit around a supermassive black hole. Data collected from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile has provided data and information on the universe when it was less than a billion years old. Black holes have long been a mysterious subject, even cartoons show them as teleportation devices or dangerous objects. Really, there is a great deal we do not know. Even though we know so little about them, they are quite common, and are often found in the centre of galaxies, including the Milky Way. This data came from an effort to try and unpick the mechanics of supermassive black holes, but have left us with more questions than we started with. 
Some think that the gas-filled environment that these black holes started in is what has led to the quick growth. The spider's web-like structures are thought to have grown out of dark matter. Unfortunately for us, this is another area of astronomy that we do not really understand. As more research develops and as our understanding of complex matters improves, we will hopefully be able to uncover more and more about the mysterious phenomenon we continue to stumble across. The world is a remarkable place, from the natural wonders being ruined by the climate crisis to the most distant galaxies. What else could we discover next? But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.